We're live. Maybe I'll zoom in a little bit. No, not that much. Okay. All right. That white one that I don't think it has stickers on it is in that blue suitcase. Let me turn this on so I can see what y'all are saying. Now I can see. Hey guys. So I hope you all had an amazing day. This thing is about to die, I swear. So I think today what I'm gonna do is kind of what I did for that commission piece. But that video is not exactly ready to post, so I'm going to just do another one for you guys, and then I'll have that one ready to post tomorrow. Hey guys, so this is one of our rounds from our website, and I just prepped it so far with just one layer of gesso. But I haven't even started packing yet, so I'm just going to go for it with this one layer. And we'll see how it goes. If anything, it'll be a test to see if one layer is enough to do alcohol ink. Hey guys, what's up, Miss Bouvier? Still one of my favorite names. Okay, I just ended it with a 400 grit. And since we did just spray gesso, it was pretty smooth already. This is just to knock down any high point from like if there was any dribbles or drips or whatever. So yeah. Whew. Hey guys, what's up Miss Sue, Mike, JJ, Carrie, Carol, Sam. So I'm using this is the oh, this is the little Dobby thing that I was telling you guys about that you can just get a block of wood and staple some Velcro to the front of it because that's all they did, and then cut out some little felt circles. And make your own. That is probably what I will do going forward is just cut out my own little felt circles. Hey guys, hey guys, hey guys. Oh yeah, Linda, we're just, we're going down to Florida. We're leaving tomorrow. Um, we're scouting out some places, meeting with some um, shop owners and people so that we can get a class together for Florida. And hopefully we won't have any like super bad weather because we've been dealing with some bad weather here in Dallas. I don't know if y'all know this, but like there's a crane that fell in the middle of town yesterday. Yeah. I don't think there was a tornado. Did they say what the bad weather was yesterday? Was it just straight line winds? But a crane fell in the middle of town, took out a relatively new apartment building. I think only one lady passed away, but like it wrecked so much stuff. Yeah, it was pretty bad. 
But we're fine, pups are fine, Amanda's fine, her babes are fine, her pups fine. I do know a couple of people that live in that apartment complex. And Amanda, what did you say? They had 48 hours to vacate the entire building? Yeah. So that's fun. All right, I'm using, can't remember, 99 proof? 99, 91, 91% isopropyl alcohol. I like the name, Joe. Uh, baby palms are amazing, but they get into everything. I'm not even sure where mine is at the moment. He's at my feet. Oh, he's in there, out of the way, which is amazing. And um, Cujo is on the kitchen counter at present. All right, I'm just putting a little bit of alcohol down and... If you guys haven't, I'm gonna take you to show you um, the triptych that I did for a commission. So I'm gonna walk real slow. Um, so that hopefully it doesn't get all sketchy. If it does, just give it a minute, it'll catch up. This is the floral tray I'm working on for my mom. I'm gonna give it to her for Father's Day. These are flowers from my dad's memorial, the bird of paradise and some of the roses. Some of the flowers that are in there are from um, bouquets sent to me in condolences. There's B. What's up, what's up? He's packing. There's Bowie Beans and Amanda Minnie. Here's Moo checking emails, taking notes. Everyone said hi, B. So in the dust free zone are the commits. And then there's another one in there. Amanda's working on orders for y'all. New colors just came in. So anyways, what I did on the triptych is going to be kind of what I'm doing in here. What is Moo's official job title? Um, senior mascot. Sorry, that was way too zoomed in. It's not letting me like slow zoom. I know, Holly, we are already out of space, which is kind of bananas. So for the blue one, I did a whole bunch of aqua colors and blue colors. And for this one, I'm gonna do like magentas and purples and pinks. And I'm just going to put this ring under here so that it creates kind of a forward motion for these colors. What's up, Ms. Montoya? How you been? Maybe that's too much upward motion for now. Um, Mike, that was just alcohol so far that I put down. I'm pretty sure my dad is on the last leg. I'm just going to use these rose stems to give me some height on this side. It's a little bit lower than... That spacer I have. The blue round ink piece. Um, it, I'm doing a recording of it. There will be one. What's up, Katie? 
So I'll have one up soon, Carol. I'm, I'm time-lapsing it. So my process for this piece is mainly just get color down and create a design. And I did a lot of that with that stamper. And even though it's, I'm going to ruin every bit of this design that I'm putting in right now, I still like doing it for some reason, even though it's a giant waste of time for the end result. It is what it is. I wish that electric orange color would stay that color. <laughs> Alas, it doesn't. So, I don't know what the official dauber function is. I'm pretty sure it's to add color, but I use it to remove color or to create a spotty texture. And I just kind of use it like a stamp a little bit. Just to create a texture because the felt has a texture. I'm going to zoom you guys in a little bit. Actually, thank me. That's awesome, Kim. I won't tell anybody that you're listening at work. Colleen, um, my colors tend to get muddy too, but I just lately just dab them out with something like this. And I don't use that many different colors. It's kind of like my, um, what's that other thing I do? Resin stuff. So I'm gonna take one of my darker colors. This is deep red. Let's see how deep it is. Hopefully this doesn't clash too much. See what it looks like. Nope, not a fan. But I want a deep color down here, so I'm going to put the deep right away so I don't accidentally use it. Thank you, Angela. You can do it. The alcohol links are kind of tricky at first, but they're definitely learnable and doable. I had no idea what I was doing when I first picked up alcohol inks. And to a very large extent, I still don't think I know that much about them. But it's a medium that's really fun to explore with, experiment with, if you will. So before I forget, I have to give a shout out to a couple people I met today at Makerspace. Um, I walked in to make some stickers. Sorry, I have to get this out before I forget. Um, you were done talking, so I was like, okay, let me jump no, in. Yeah, go, go, go. <laughs> Because <laughs> I would have forgotten that too. And this lady, hello Clara, was working on a computer across from me and she was working on like a lip kiss print, like like a lipstick print, I believe for a heat transfer. And 
I told her, I said, it's funny because I was going to come in here today and work on a lip print that I was experimenting with to make a sticker or a cutout just to see if I did it right on the Adobe and Inkscape. And she asked me what kind of art I did and I, and she really wasn't paying attention. Like she was doing her thing. I'm just kind of talking and we're in between these computers. And I tell her, you know, this is what I do. And I get to resin the very last and say, we're doing a lot of resin right now. And she turns around and says, I need to talk to you because I'm doing poor stuff right now. Like I'm doing acrylic and I'm, and I don't know if I need to prep this wood or if I just do it on MDF. And I said, well, you can do that. You know, you could prep MDF if you want. You don't have to, but you probably will because it's brown and unless you want a brown background, blah, blah, blah. And I gave her my card and she lost her mind. She says, I know who you are. I know who you guys are. <laughs> she said, you guys are down on Lamar Street in downtown. I said, that's, yeah, that's us. That's, that's us. And she's like, I watch you guys. I've been watching hundreds of videos, but I just started watching you guys and you guys are awesome. And <laughs> that's so awesome. And so I told her about the class and she goes, I was supposed to take the class, but I was just busy and couldn't get to it. And the husband was sitting there just like, oh, great. Here we go. <laughs> and he was worried because she hadn't messed with uh, resin yet that he obviously was doing his research and figured out trial and error is expensive. And this hobby is not a cheap hobby. So... Um, they're taking their time, which is smart. And so I was telling her that we're going to do a demo up here, up, up here being at Makers. So uh, I want to say hi to Mr. Larry, because I asked them for their names and she said, I'm Tracy. I, I, I hope that's right. I'm pretty sure it's Tracy and Larry. And he said, Mr. Larry. So I got to say, Mr. Larry. I have the, I think. Yeah, I texted it to you so I wouldn't forget it. <laughs> Because I'm super. Tracy is here. Where is Tracy at? Where are you at, Tracy? Hi, Bobo. Oh, that's a bone. It's his. I checked in a second ago. I love the texture of this mix. <laughs> This like speckled you. Oh, Tracy is here. Hello, Larry. Mr. Larry. Get it right, B. Get it right. Get it right. Get it right. I'm pretty sure that's not how that goes. But... That's a, that's how it goes in the song. No. This is another word. I'm pretty sure it's tight. B, do you like it? Is it fun? Uh, yeah, it looks like. Uh... That's going to be amazing. So, hi, Tracy and Larry. Miss Bouvier says hi. Long time. Doris says, Jeff, y'all are even famous in Home Depot in one of our little towns in Wisconsin. Wisconsin. That's, That's so Mrs. Tracy. Oh, it's Mrs. Tracy. <laughs> Miss Tracy. M-R. I don't, I always get those mixed up. Kind of stay in that area because you're kind of zoomed in close. So, oh, okay. So in that commission piece, there's like a swoosh in it, and it was the most difficult part of the whole piece.
36 by, uh, it would be. I would think Smith's Bouvier. This one? Because I, I don't want to check for the 24 by 48 characters at that door. So the 36 by 18 by 70. Share your art. I want to know how that goes. Do they have any like tests on its yellowing or stability? Um, the fiberglass piece is going well. It's fairly rigid. I unmolded it. And it's sitting in the window just to see what it'll do. What we could do is move the hoodies so that our Well, I'm just thinking, like, yeah, just over because we don't never But it's not like, yeah. And, and they're in there talking about. merch. So this one that I just added is Fuchsia RV09. It's a Copic marker refill. The lighter pinky peachy color is not that one or that one or that one. It is Shell Pink by Ranger. The deep one down here is Wild Plum. Yeah, by Ranger. So I also use this 70% alcohol wipes to pick up some of the water and give another, if you like, just wad it up, a design element. It's kind of a blender as well. Or if I have to remove some of it. Oh, all right. Sorry. Flowers. Hey, guys. That's great, Miss Bouvier. Chris, what, well, how did it go? Tell me how it went. So a lot of times with my alcohol ink, I like to um, let it stain just a little bit and wipe it off just so that there's like a faded background look. Yeah. And the pinks really stain very well. I find that my particular brand of Alcohol ink is very much like pick up and redeposit. Yeah, blending solution does weird things with different colors. So unless it's like required to use with a certain color, I just, I don't even bother. I still get it mixed up on which ones I should use alcohol ink or blending solution. It is what it is though. As long as the pieces are coming out okay. You did a four foot round bar table strainer pour as your first piece. You're a brave one. ever going to figure out the white, but I'm, I think I'm going to try to add some on this piece. We'll see. Wasn't really digging the flow of that, but is enough left on there that it gives a hint for like a background.
Also, a lot of times I like to add a couple different colors into this like dauber thing. So that it gives a little bit of dimension when you use it. It needs a little bit more of a dark color. So I'm just adding some eggplant. That's a fun name. Yeah, of course, I tried to find a good recipe. I think. Um, Jen came up with a good blending solution. You lost the strainer? Liz, I find that a lot in my work too. The more I add, the less I like it. I think alcohol inks are definitely a less is more. For sure. I say that as I keep adding more and more color. No, resin can get very ticky when it starts to set up. What are my feelings on Ranger inks? I like Ranger. Um, they're not the cheapest inks to use by far. I think that um, I feel like the uh, Zig inks are comparable and less expensive if I'm remembering right. Possible that I'm not remembering right. Which guy? That's not for Bowie. But this is. What is this? I think that's for Bowie's. There you go. Sorry, y'all. Bowie just took off with something he wasn't supposed to have. This looks kind of like. A, um, a blue bonnet just out here like a fuchsia colored blue bonnet All right I'm gonna try to add a little bit lighter up here kind of a background that went from lighter to not light at all. I'm going to zoom me out a little bit. What are you doing, though, Dean? You could probably make some really neat looking flowers with this tool. I'm sure we could link you to the group. <laughs> this looks definitely like random patterns and it most likely definitely is. What is this stamp called? It's a Mini applicator tool. It's by Ranger. You can absolutely make your own though. All 
this. I don't really care. I just want it to have a hint of color. For that blue one, I use probably a whole one of these alcohol wipes. I haven't been on Facebook a lot today to check on Shy, but last I heard she was doing good. So it's interesting if I just use my 70% alcohol rag, like one of these, um, it'll move the alcohol link, but it won't take it up. And sometimes it just, it only slightly fades it, but if I, obviously if I add some of the higher concentrated alcohol to it, it completely removes it. So I've kind of decided to use that to my advantage and that if I want to just fade a color, I'll only um, use the rag right out of the container. But if I want to completely remove it, then I will put some 90 something proof down. Now I'm just dabbing it, trying to blend in the two. Probably gonna add some color. Um, Kim, India inks don't have any alcohol in them. They're water-based. And alcohol links are alcohol based. India inks won't evaporate as quickly because they're water based and it takes longer for water to evaporate than it takes alcohol to evaporate. It's so hard for me to like just trust the process of the alcohol inks. Because they do some amazing things on their own if you just leave them to do what they do. But it's so difficult for me. I have to mess with it and fiddle and try to just make it do what I want it to do. The struggle is real, is what I'm saying. Everyone that just came in. We could probably move that to right about there. Because if anything, you walk in. One of the most difficult things for me to do in a piece is be okay with the flow of it. For something that's so organic, like it comes up with its own fluid motion and direction, it's so difficult for me to just let it do what it naturally wants to do. I always want to make it do what I want it to do and that's the only option very much like how my life is with resin I think with resin I've gotten to learn what it's gonna do so it's easier for me to just let it go let it go
So Sean, I'll tell you, I sealed in the last bet, the last piece I did with this archival spray, and it worked really, really well. And I poured resin over it. I'll show you guys at the end of the video what um, my last AI piece looks like. I showed you guys in the beginning of the video, but for all the people that just got in, I'll show. Keep in mind when you do coat it with resin or anything else that it's going to lighten up just a little bit. It'll like deepen some colors and like your lighter colors, it, it doesn't fade per se, but it doesn't look the same. So just keep that in mind when you're working with some light, light colors. What was the question, Kim? That's what I do to just kind of block in color. I'm just taking this rag that I've used over here to just blot in and fade out. Everything. this eggplant and fuchsia. Thank you, Kim. By no means am I an AI or anything expert, but I definitely had a lot of fun experimenting. But I think that's what it's all about, and I'm, I hope that I um, inspire you guys to think outside of the box and do things that aren't in your wheelhouse or comfort zone, and that's kind of the whole point of doing the challenges every month, which I plan on participating, because you guys have been doing some really great things, and... Judy really challenged you, you guys to um, do some awesome stuff and work with color palettes that I would never choose because I get intimidated by certain colors.
Um, when we glitter things, we throw lots of glitter at it too. There's no point in doing glitter unless you're using all of the glitter, in my opinion. What are you gonna do with that, B? Is this oval? I don't think so. I can tell already this is going to be one of those pieces where I'll like a certain area or a certain look and I'll just focus in on that and not pay attention to the piece as a whole. I can tell that that may be a thing for me on this. Um, it depends on the masking fluid, which ones work best. Hey, Carrie. Chelsea, when you say, do I have any more art classes? Um, are you asking about different forms of artwork or any more resin art classes coming up? I will seal it with the, the archival spray before putting resin on it. Interesting, Lisa. I'll have to look that up. Just like with the um, when I do resin work, I really don't have that much direction when I start. And I just kind of see what it wants to do and then take it from there which is what's happening on this one. Thank you, Mike. It's very wonky to me though. I'm thinking about fading out this entire area. Well that that right there is just very like you have so much like it looks like it looks like you've done this first and then you're starting to do this over there. Like that like it's so you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out how I want to balance it, like, put more or remove? I, I would remove. I think that's where I'm going with it. Thank you. Sorry you're going to the dentist, Mara. I hope it's not too bad. 
A walling foam tile is fun. We do those before shows. A lot of times I'll just add alcohol ink and let it sit and fade and do what it wants to do. And then I'll try to incorporate that with whatever it's touching. I think that's a good way to get a really organic look in your artwork is to just let it do what it's going to do anyways. You're not worried that's just gonna dry up like that? This? Yeah. No. I I would be. I, that's why I was asking. It's just the best way that I found to remove color. Good night, Joe. Thanks for joining. Get some rest. Bowie. them off and reuse them a little bit. I don't see why not. I mean it's felt so just soak them in alcohol and that'll pull the color out in theory. are definitely a labor of love. Oh, thanks for saying that, Chris. I don't see why makeup sponges wouldn't work. The stamp pad texture is just felt. It's just like, I don't know if you guys can see this. Or if I move it in the frame. I think you're still a little... We can see it. Okay. Go from I love it to I hate it so quick. I just have to rework some areas. But the fun thing is, is it gives a little hint of color. <clears throat> so it's a good like background deal. I like what the big blob looks like. I'm just trying to figure out how to connect it and make it look. Just do so do what you're doing. Just kind of blah 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 blah. And you go blah 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 blah. Kind of little. Well, and then just kind of fade it. Like that. Like, just make it very. 
very organic, like a tree. Yeah. Yeah, like, and then fade, just really fade those. I'm just gonna lay down, I'm not going anywhere right now. They're talking amongst us. They're, they're laughing at Mike Reed. What did he do? I think I'm also going to add some gold to this, but since I think gold doesn't like to hang out with the alcohol, I'm gonna wait until I'm done with everything else to add, no. White doesn't like alcohol, right? I also have to remind myself that it's going to look different under resin. Well, if you have to go to bed, I understand, Carol. Thank you, Lisa. Um, yeah, that was just glitter glass, and I went ahead and linked it in my Amazon description down below. You can find um, the Amazon link, and that'll have everything that we use on the channel that we don't have in our store. Maybe I'll contact them and see if I can get like a bulk discount so I can sell that as well in the store for you guys. This is what I did for the entire blue piece, the commission. It took a hot minute. <laughs> The glitter glass is amazing, it really is. Highly recommend it. It's like, it's really awesome because it's like a subtle sparkle. It's not like an abrasive glitter, which I love glitter, but it's not like in your face. It's gotta like catch the light just right and. I'm thinking about doing some kind of like frozen scene with it somehow. My process is kind of like add it with the dauber and then take my alcohol rag and clean up the edges. You want me?
the hoodie? Yeah. Yeah, we need to send that. I think we just need a better dryer. Way better dryer. I mean, it looks like this is like, like, like it just rolled in the red pile. It just came out of it. Which one, Kim? So there's Zig, Ranger, Copic, and Kelty, which I haven't used any of yet on this piece. Uh, no, Kelty. Do I have any pinata alcoholics? Oh yeah, I have the the white that I'm scared to use. happening right there. Maybe we'll just dab it out. Change the viewpoint. See if I can see something here. So I'm going to use Copic Fuchsia. Pinata Magenta. And not Cranberry. Ranger Pink Sherbet. Which one's clear? I love the energy of the two lines that are close to meeting, but passing. I guess th these two. I'm glad you said that because I almost just connected them. Let's try that on and see how it goes. Thanks, Mike. Those colors really look good together. Hi, John.
Rich has something poignant to say about this process. But it's literally just put color down, see how you like it. At least for me. That's awesome, Clara. Maybe. What? Are you calling? Yeah. Amanda's calling you. Did you just leave them open? Because all I brought were ones just to mess with, so I know how to really didn't make them. Okay, can I do this and then we can... Realize my iPad died. I can't see what you guys are saying, so just give me a second. Sorry, you guys. Uh, her iPad just died, so they're all just talk, literally just talking amongst themselves. Alright, this has just turned into a candid pour until Jeff pour. We made these. We made them. The candid AI piece until he gets back over here. We just opened those up the other day. Just a little bit of color out of the center here.
if I cannot mess this up. So I'm going to get a new pad. This won't take long. Shake it up really well. You would think there'd be like a marble or something in there to make it. Shake up better, but. No. Let me get a pipette. Here it back. This will work. I don't know what this is going to do. I haven't done this yet. So let's do it in a small area. Oh, I like it. I wish it wasn't so like round. So I think my solution to that is going to be this. That way it can be more random. Now, my only real thing is trying to not go overboard with the gold, which would be a very me thing to do. Also, dabbing it with this alcohol rag kind of incorporates it into the pink. It like lifts some of the pink up and deposits it over the gold. So it doesn't look like an afterthought. I'll show you guys up close in a minute. I don't know how the light's catching, because I can't see what you guys can see. Always on the move. I can feel myself about to get extra with the gold, so I'm going to have to put it down in a second. Oh, 
I think it has settled already. That was fun. So, has to change now that I'm seeing it in the camera Clara thank you of course I'm doing this without gloves on really appreciate that Clara This is interesting being done with one hand. Okay. Let's see if we can not mess this up. That'd be awesome. I think I like that better. So, look at that. Is there gold in that? Yeah, I added some gold. Oh, yeah, that looks great. Thanks, you guys. It's crazy because you can't see it. It looks like it's like... Not there, then there. Yeah. Comes out. It looks really good. So I will be sealing this in with the UV Archival Matte Spray from Krylon. And then um, I'll do like two coats. Do you charge more for this type of art since you could have done several resin pieces in this amount of time? Alcohol inks are definitely more expensive because the materials are a lot. So I will be sealing it in and putting the glitter glass on it and some resin. 
and probably like chunky glass. I probably won't do that tonight because I want to do a couple of coats of this stuff and I have yet to start packing and we're leaving at like 7 a.m. So that's that. Um, but I will do it and record it and I'll have it posted as a video for while we're on the road. And welcome, uh, Miss Tracy and Mr. Larry. <laughs> More Tracy welcome and Larry. Welcome to the fam. Welcome to the fam. And then I have to also add one more coat to this. Jenna added your rainbow roses since they were a part of the whole process. Brought color to my gloomy days. Um, commission piece, sure. One second. What are you guys doing? Man, that's some good height right there. Almost made it. <laughs> okay, I'm going to try to go slow so that it doesn't get all splotchy. But here's one of them. delivering this one tomorrow yeah. you can really see the glitter glass thanks miss Bouvier So this is the left piece. Let's go see the other two. Do we get the lights? The middle piece. And the other end piece. Is Jen the friend that ordered the triptych? She is not. Jen could do this by herself. She doesn't need to order it from me. I do not glue the glass on. I um, just sprinkle it into the resin. In case you're wondering, this is what my shop looks like when you guys order. It's another commission I have to finish when we get back. Pink Pop is in stock. So yeah, I'm going to add the glitter glass and the chunks of fire glass to this piece as well. And probably some gold leaf since I added that extra flare. Um, I'm not going to put another coat on those pieces over there. The commission piece, they're, they're done, they're setting. Um, I, I don't have time to add another coat anyways because... I have to put him in the car in the morning. Hi, Miz. Are you ready to go outside? Ready to go potty? You are. Come here. Come on. Oh, such a big boy. Okay. All right, you guys, thank you so much for tuning in, seeing what we're up to today. We love you all so, so much. Please check out our other social media. You'll find all that down in the description box below. If you have any questions, shoot us an email. If you are interested in any resin um, paints or resin, um, check out our website, artistsolette.com. Bo is just getting hyped. Because he knows what's up. And so, yeah, be kind to of one another. You never know what someone's going through. We'll see you guys.
Um, not tomorrow. I'll be posting a video tomorrow, but we'll see you guys from Florida. Okay, boys. <laughs> they said bye, too. All right, you guys.